Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the greatest what if in the entire universe. It's a question so mind bending, it challenges everything we know about physics, time, and the very fabric of reality itself. What if humans could travel faster than light? Imagine waking up one morning and hearing the news. Scientists have done it. They've built a ship that can break the cosmic speed limit, a vessel that can actually outrun light. In an instant, the impossible becomes possible. The vast, empty universe, once so painfully out of reach, is suddenly our backyard, just waiting to be explored. Stars that would normally take tens of thousands of years to visit could now be reached in a matter of minutes. But before we get lost in the adventure, let's understand why the speed of light is such a big deal. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, nothing with mass can ever reach the speed of light. Why? Because the faster you go, the heavier you get. As you approach light speed, your mass would balloon towards infinity, and it would take infinite energy to push you any faster. At the same time, for you on that ship, time would slow down until it almost stops completely. Space itself would compress. Reality would warp and distort around you. Light would bend, transforming into streaks of liquid brightness. But... For this thought experiment, let's imagine humanity stumbles upon something truly extraordinary, a new kind of physics. A loophole in space-time, or a technology that bends reality instead of breaking its rules. Maybe it's a warp drive, like in Star Trek, that curves space-time around the ship. Or perhaps we find a wormhole, a stable shortcut connecting to incredibly distant points in the universe. Or maybe we discover a new form of exotic energy, Something like negative mass or controlled dark okay. energy that allows us to compress space like an accordion. Now, picture this. A sleek, futuristic Artist ship I. sits oh. silently on a launch pad, humming with a strange, otherworldly energy that literally bends the air around it. The pilots step inside, their hearts pounding in their chests, knowing they are about to become the first humans to outrun light itself. The engines activate, space-time shivers. And then suddenly, boom, the ship vanishes, leaving behind only a ripple in the air. It hasn't exploded. It has simply outrun the light reflecting off of it. To us, on Earth, that ship is now invisible. Not because it's gone, but because it's light. Can't keep up with its own journey. Inside the ship, the crew witnesses something impossible. The universe stretches out ahead of them in a tunnel of swirling, neon colors. Stars flash by like cosmic fireflies and space itself I seems to fold open like a doorway. For them, the journey feels incredibly smooth, silent, weightless, and strangely peaceful. But here's where things Artless get really I wild. Own. At faster than light speeds, the laws of time start to misbehave. If you travel faster than light, you can actually arrive at your destination before the light that left with you. Think about that. It means you could arrive somewhere before your departure is even visible from that point. You could literally stand on the planet light years away and, Music with a powerful enough telescope, reimagined. watch yourself taking off from Earth. You could receive messages you haven't even sent yet. Scientists call this breaking causality, and it's a huge problem. Some physicists warn it could unravel the timeline, creating paradoxes that would tear logic apart. But what if we solve that problem too? After all, humanity has a track record of solving the impossible. Maybe. Or faster than light travel doesn't really break time. Maybe it just bypasses it. Perhaps instead of moving through space-time, we simply jump across it. Artless like turning a page in a book to get to the end of a chapter. So, let's imagine humanity's first successful FTL jump. The ship emerges from the warp near Alpha Centauri, our nearest star system. Suddenly, the view screen is filled with three suns blazing in the sky. There are planets with shimmering rings of ice and strange, glowing clouds of gas drifting through the darkness. The crew discovers a world with vast oceans of liquid methane and another with violent red lightning storms. They capture images no human has ever seen before. They become the first people to witness an alien sunrise as light bends around twin stars. Bike on Earth, the news spreads like wildfire. We are now a multi-star civilization. Soon. More and more ships are launched. Artless. Colonies begin to form on distant, habitable worlds, some inside massive domes, others on floating platforms Artless in the clouds, and some buried deep under alien soil for protection. 
A new generation of kids grows up with different constellations in their night sky. Entire cities glow brightly beneath green and purple alien skies. Earth is no longer our only home. It's just one home among many. Humanity officially He's evolves into a true spacefaring species. But this incredible new power comes with dangers we never could have imagined. Jump too close to a black hole and space-time could shred your ship like paper. Travel too often, and your ship might begin to accumulate temporal distortion, tiny fractures in time that cause hallucinations, echoes of future voices, or fleeting glimpses of the past. Some ships might even vanish completely into dark regions of space-time, strange pockets of the universe where even light cannot escape. Legends would begin to spread among the space -fearers. Stories of the Andromeda ghost ship a vessel that returned to Earth I after 200 years. Own. Even though the crew had only experienced two days, another ship reports hearing whispers across the warp field disembodied voices speaking in unknown frequencies from the void between stars. And then, we encounter something, a signal, not from Earth, not from any of our colonies, but from deep Music space, thousands of light years away. It's a pattern, a clear rhythm, a message. It's not random noise. It's structured, it's intelligent, and it means we're not alone. Someone else out there has mastered faster than light travel too, and they did it long before us. Maybe they come in peace, explorers just like us. Or maybe they are ancient, powerful, and cautious, watching us from the darkness, wondering if this young, ambitious species from a small blue planet is truly ready to join the cosmic community. Faster than light travel wouldn't just let us explore the universe. It would announce our presence to everyone else in it. And somewhere in the endless ocean of stars, someone would be listening. But beyond all the danger and mystery, just imagine the sheer wonder of it all. Seeing entire galaxies collide in real time. Watching new stars ignite inside vibrant, colorful Music nebulae. Visiting planets made of solid diamond or worlds with oceans of fire. We could study dark matter up close finally unlocking its secrets. We could even travel beyond the cosmic microwave background radiation to the very edge of the observable universe. We could reach galaxies 10 billion light years away, places whose light shows us what the universe looked like in its infancy. For the first time in history, humanity's future would no longer be tied to the fate of one star or one planet. And maybe, just maybe, faster than light travel is how civilizations achieve immortality. Because one day, billions of years from now, our sun will die. Earth will be consumed. But with FTL technology, humanity could escape long before that happens. Carrying our history, our art, our music, and our dreams across the stars to a new home. The entire Music universe becomes our home. And the story of humanity becomes the story of the cosmos itself. So what if, one day, centuries from now, a human ship finally does it. It breaks the light barrier. Somewhere in the deep dark, a blue-white glow appears. Space-time ripples, and a voice whispers through the radio. We made it. And maybe, just maybe, something out there whispers back. Thanks for watching.